Mike Tyndall has explained why the royal children are seated separately from their parents and other senior members of the royal family during the traditional Christmas lunch. The Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here. Star, who is married to Princess Anne's daughter Zara Tyndall, revealed that during the festive meal, the kids are seated together in a smaller room. This year, the royal Christmas festivities have been enjoyed at Sandringham Estate in Norfolk. It is the first time they have celebrated Christmas at the premises in three years due to the Covid pandemic. The former England rugby player divulged details about the seating arrangement at royal Christmas lunches with former rugby teammates James Haskell and Alex Payne on a past episode of the podcast Joe UK's House of Rugby. Tyndall said, this is the other one, the family lunch, there must be about 70 of us there, there are 7 tables and then the kiddies have their own little one in a different room. According to the late Queen's former chef, Darren McGrady, the Queen played a significant role in upkeeping this tradition. McGrady, who served the royals from 1982 until 1993 said, they didn't do hams or anything, just traditional turkeys. We did three turkeys for the Queen and her family in the royal dining room, one for the children's nursery and then more for the 100 or so staff, so everyone had a Christmas lunch. He said that with the Queen there was never a case of putting a high chair at the table with a little baby squealing and throwing food. It was Victorian. Zara, Mike and their daughter Lena were seen yesterday walking hand in hand past crowds of adoring fans to St. Mary Magdalene Crutch for the Royal Christmas Service. They were among other royals, including King Charles who was seen waving happily at crowds with the Queen Consort, Camilla by his side. Meghan and Harry's Netflix show backfires as US turns on couple, Insight. However, Charles' gleeful appearance was a contrast to the tone in his first Christmas address. The king looked more somber as he referenced the great anxiety and hardship of many people in the country this Christmas and paid tribute to his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II. During the speech, there was no mention of recent news about him ousting Prince Andrew from Buckingham Palace or any of the controversy caused by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The exclusion of Meghan and Harry from the speech was predicted by many royal commentators, including Richard Fitzwilliams. He told I News before the speech, all the indications are the palace would prefer to ride the current crisis, for that is what it must be called, out without any statement of any sort. The Prince and Princess of Wales were also present on the walk to church, joined by Prince Louis who was making his debut at the Sandringham celebrations. Notably, Princess Anne was missing during the walk as she has been suffering from a cold, reported the Mirror. The 72-year-old royal was also absent from the Together at Christmas Carol service held at Westminster Abbey, although this was down to a schedule clash rather than illness. Lady Louise Windsor, 19, was also seen towering over her mother Sophie after returning from street. Andrews University for Christmas. She arrived at the church service with Prince Edward and Sophie, the Countess of Wessex and her younger brother James. The siblings Louise and James have largely been kept out of the spotlight by their parents. However, they have started to attend several major events this year, including the late Queen's Jubilee celebrations and then her funeral in September.